Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my studio. This is Paint with Lovejoy. Thanks so much for joining me. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to the channel and check out the other videos. And if you're here for a second, third, or fourth time, thank you so much for coming back and getting creative. Okay guys, this is going to be a super fun, fast uh, black and white painting. So grab your supplies, um, turn on your favorite music, and make sure you take some progress pictures every now and then as we go through the process. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start a little bit different. We're going to start with our dark color first, black, and work our way backwards as we kind of make this abstract design on our background. Now you can switch this out and use any other colors that you want. Um, this is just a really quick kind of black and white tutorial, so feel free to change this up to what you want. So I'm using that large flat brush and was kind of just randomly putting these marks on the canvas and now making a dark gray, and that is adding a little bit of white to the black. And again, keeping with the same type of mark making, you can do this long horizontal lines, or you can make X marks, or you can do vertical or angular, um, kind of whatever you want as we fill up the background and then adding more white, going a little bit lighter. And I am using student grade paint, just black and white. So I am applying this kind of thick so that way I can do some blending. And as we kind of fill up this background space, um, then we'll come in with a little bit lighter pressure and fill in the areas. But right now we're just getting those chunks of colors down on first. And going again for a little bit of that lighter gray. And if you have to mix your colors two or three times to get that shade of gray that you were using, that's okay. Um, also, if you would like to introduce other colors here, you can do that as well. All right, if you are one of my first time painters or this is your first painting, please take a deep breath, just relax. Here right now you can see what some of that blending that I was talking about, just kind of using light pressure, making these kind of bold um, brush strokes go in the full width of the canvas. I don't want you to think too much as you're doing this and play with the pressure of that brush. Um, a little more pressure, a little less pressure, and just kind of see how it feels as you're moving this paint on the surface. And here you can see where I'm grabbing some of that white to kind of fill in where the, um, the paint didn't fill on the canvas. And if you need to go back to a darker or lighter shade of one of your grays, go right ahead and do that. But we're going to be filling up any remaining canvas space. And if you are on a stretched canvas, I do recommend that you carry that color around the edges of the canvas. But again, you're just getting comfortable with uh, mixing the paint, with applying it to the canvas. If you have a quick drying paint, you do need to apply it thicker and just getting a feel for kind of the texture and consistency. I do have a lot of students that enjoy doing this by finger painting. So if you're inclined to do that, go right ahead and just grab a napkin and wipe off your hands um, as needed at the end. All right, you guys are doing good. Even just take a notice of how much more relaxed you are now just by moving the paint across the canvas. And that is one of the best things about the painting process. All right, so here filling in those last uh, sections of uh, exposed canvas. And I did go a little bit darker here. And you do wanna do everything that you want to your background now while it's wet. And this blending method is called wet on wet blending. Um, basically because both colors are wet and it's a nice way that here you saw I just added the black to go a little bit darker I'll add a little bit of white in a moment any shade any color that you want you can do a blending and get a nice gradation with this and for my first time painters the blending gets more comfortable with more practice so I encourage all my students to find creative outlets on a regular basis and there you can see where I just slapped that white on there blending it in and the more you move your brush between certain colors, the more they blend together. All right, good spot to take a progress photo. And I do recommend letting this fully dry before you move on to putting your tree branch and your birds on here. So we're gonna start with that medium flat brush or a large flat brush. And we're gonna get the first branch on there and think about it just like a tree. We're gonna have a thick um, full branch for the first, for the main part of the branch. And then you can have smaller branches and little twigs kind of coming off that main thicker branch. And you'll just make smaller and skinnier lines. 
If you're finding that your brush is shaky as you go to make these, um, that means you're holding your breath. So exhale as you touch the brush to the canvas um, and you'll find a little bit more ease with the process. And you can put as many or as few trees uh, branches on here as you want. If you want to just do one, you can. If you want to do the birds on a wire and just do lines and then put the birds on there, go right ahead and do that. Uh, creativity is more about just kind of making it what you want and enjoying the process. Another satisfying thing is just seeing how you turn a white surface or a blank surface into um, something that you created. There's a um, satisfaction of uh, completion that comes from that. All right, so for the birds, I am using the small pointy brush and I'm gonna make simple shapes, ovals and circles and triangles. And I'm gonna leave them just as their shape right now so that way you can see what they are and you can mimic that on your canvas. And then we'll be filling it in with black paint. Again, put as many or as few birds as you want on here and they can be different sizes. If you want maybe a parent bird or an adult bird and then some babies, um, that are a little bit smaller, go right ahead and get as creative as you want. So again, a circle for the head, an oval for the body, and a triangle for the beak and the tail feathers. All right, you guys are doing a great job. And if you've painted a few times and you want to challenge yourself, um, challenge yourself by painting a little bit faster. Uh, I believe when I filmed this, I painted it probably in about 10 or 15 minutes. And you know, it's just kind of nice to paint fast and challenge yourself. If you tend to paint fast um, already, challenge yourself by slowing down and taking your time. And that's really what painting and creativity is about, is just kind of finding where your limits, your things you don't want to do are, um, and just kind of pushing past that boundary just a little bit and going, oh, that wasn't too bad. Look what I painted. Look what I did. And that's one of my biggest reasons for creating videos like this. Just want you guys to realize you're much more creative than you give yourself credit for. All right, and then just filling in those birds. I did move back up to that medium flat brush. Going to fill in any of the leaves that I put on there. Um, again, you can add color if you want to put flowers or green leaves or put anything else on top of your birds. Go for it. I will um, do a few little white highlights in a moment. I did let the paint dry. And then just putting the white highlights here, keeping it kind of sketchy. It doesn't have to be an exact line. And again, just observe the place where I put each of these. And on the tree branches, um, I'm just kind of using light pressure, going right over it, kind of allowing the texture of the canvas to pick up some of the paint. It does not have to be perfect. Again, very, very proud of you guys for taking time out of your day and painting at home. Please don't wait too long to do your next one. And until then, cheers. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the process of painting and I hope how you liked how your paintings turned out. I'm really proud of you for painting at home. As you're uploading your pictures to social media, please tag me at or hashtag paintwithlovejoy or email me your pictures paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com. I really enjoy seeing those. I try to post them on social media um, and encourage other beginners and first time painters to try painting. So please share this with your community and keep getting creative. If you have any comments, feedback, suggestions, things you want me to paint in the future, go ahead and leave a comment and I will um, answer them as quickly as I can and try to get those new paintings um, in my production list and on the rotation. So thanks again for taking time out of your day to get creative with me. Don't wait too long to do your next one. And until then, cheers.